I started this exercise in steam piping because everything in steam piping is sloped. The steam pipe, condensate return. Now the, the uh, welded pipe went in relatively easy. No problems with uh, getting the uh, uh, connection disconnect markers to disappear um, but one note note on that uh, I s go into my units and I set uh, my angles to four decimal places uh, just a habit I got into from working in uh, CAD works all right anyway when it got to the copper piping though the uh, it was a real bugger making these connections. Uh, you had to be dead nuts on to get these things to line up and connect. And the problem arose uh, in the uh, connection tolerances. Uh, oh, copper pipe. Let, let me touch on this real quick. This is a content uh, pack of copper pipe. Uh, very complete. The only thing I couldn't find in it uh, that I needed was a flexible connection for pump discharge. Other than that, uh, very, very comprehensive. Uh, he's taken the uh, parts from Mueller and uh, Nibco. If any of you have worked in Revit, you know they provide uh, a lot of uh, families. They also provide SDP files, and that's what this guy has uh, put together. Works great. All right, so slope tolerances. Here's a link to that. It'll explain all about it. And basically, what I did was anything that had a cup, threaded, soldered, any uh, slip on, anything with a socket type fitting, I went through and set the slope tolerance. Uh, to three, three degrees. That's what it's set for on their butt welded. So when you go down here and scroll down here, like threaded, uh, I'd set that, set that to three. Um, I got solder joints in here, auto solder. Set everything to do with a cup, threaded. Anything with a socket, set it to three. Now, when you do that, of course, you've got to be careful that uh, you provide enough fittings to get the slope in. Let's look at this example. This is, this is a, a plumb drop off the bottom of that expansion tank. Copper fitting, socket weld, you can, you'll never be, you won't be able to get a pipe to slope off of that impossible you have to come off with a straight run put an elbow in and then do your slope you've got to model it the way a pipe fitter is going to to build it uh, here's another little example uh, this is a drain well that's not a good example here we go this is a vent now this, this slope on this line was achieved by rotating this vertical uh, the same amount of degrees as the slope required on this line comes out. This is flat and then you go to a vertical plumberize. So hope that helps. Thank you for watching.